We've been looking at figuring out how much space a certain design covers on a page. Our page is what's black. Our design is the triangle. If I asked you right now, how many triangles can you fit on this shape here? Just by looking at it, how many would you say could fit? Could I not just do this? Now look, by moving this triangle, doesn't change how much space it is covering. It doesn't change it. It's still covering the same amount of room underneath. Whether I put it here or there, or if I flip it around, it's still covering the same amount of space. Now if I put this here, and I put this over there, I can put two here. I can put one upside down. That's three. And then I've got leftover space. I can probably put maybe one or one and a half. You know, who knows? I can, I can maybe squeeze some up there. So maybe about four or maybe five of them could probably fit on this space. Now, if we could do that, this triangle would represent about one out of four or one out of five, depending on how many I can fit. If I can fit five triangles, this would be one out of five. If I could fit only four, this would be one out of four. If I converted these fractions into percents, it would be about 25% or 20%. My answer should be about close to 20 or 25%. If it's like 40 or 50%, I know I did something wrong. Now, what do we have to do here? We're calculating percentages. So remember this number, we should get close to 20 or 25%. I'm asked to calculate the percentage of this space that's covered up by the design. Whatever my subject is, I'm going to have to put that as my numerator. I'll tell you what that means. The percentage formula never changes. Whether you're doing a test or figuring this stuff out, you always divide two numbers and multiply by 100. Your denominator is always the total. In this case, it is the total space that we have. We have all this black, including everything underneath the triangle. So that shape is what? It is a rectangle. That shape is a rectangle. So we have to do what to get an area of a rectangle? We have to figure out the length, which we will do now. And it looks exactly 8, maybe 8.1. We'll just say 8 for our sake. So it's 8 centimeters. And the other side is going to be about maybe 4 or 5. And it looks like it's exactly 4 centimeters. So here's 4 centimeters. The other side was 8 centimeters. Let's write those numbers in. We have 8 centimeters. We have 4 centimeters. What do you get if you times 8 by 4? You get 32 centimeters squared because it's space, it's area. So if you see the word space, we're talking about area. That's my denominator. My numerator is going to be whatever I'm talking about. What am I talking about here? It's the design. I'm talking about this design. That is my topic. Now, how do you find the area of a, what is that? A triangle. You have to do something to get the area of a triangle. You still have to go base times height, but then you have to do one other step, which is divide by two. So base times height divided by two, remember that. How do you get the height of a triangle? People will mess that up and say, oh, I know the height. It's just that red line there. See, Mr. Malm, look, it's that red line. That's the height. No, it's not. The height is, imagine yourself standing at the highest point. You do this for every triangle. You stand at the highest point. You put your guy here, make him stand there, and let him drop a rock. The pathway the rock takes is your height. That's my height, from there to there. So you take your ruler, you measure that height, and it looks like it is three point, what is that, three point one, two, three, let's say 3.3, and my base is gonna be, base is pretty easy, you just, whatever the triangle is sitting on, sitting on this red line, and that's gonna be so we said 3.3 is the height, 3.5 is the base. So we have 3.5 and 3.3. So let's go 3.5 centimeters times 3.3 centimeters divided by two is your last step. We'll punch it in our calculator. 3.5 times 3.2 makes 11.2. Now divide by two and you get 5.6 centimeter squared. So let's finish this off here. We said space of shape. So we'll just write shape, space, shape, space, divided by total space. Now we have to take these, divide them, and times by 100. So we'll go 5.6, mul or divided by, divided by 32, don't multiply, make sure you divide by 32, times by 100, 
What do we get? We get 17.5%. 17.5%. Now, go back to our estimate. What did we say our estimate should be close to? We said it's either about close to 20% or 25%. Guess what? 17.5, that's about 18% if we rounded it. Not five bumps, that seven to an eight. We get 18%. We were pretty darn close in our estimate. That means we did the right thing. Ah!